quick little recap of uh, last week where we discussed um, the importance of focusing on training for your future self and putting in the hard work now to pay dividends later uh, and important to not just focus on the easy quick wins which can be uh, a habit that uh, is really easy to do at this time of the year because you're not training with your uh, teammates um, so it can be easy to fall into things that you only like doing and missing out on the things that you don't like doing uh, but it's really really important for football and to time our run that we do the things that are going to help us be better uh, as a footballer uh, and not get distracted. This is what, something that we'll look at every week just a reminder that we're, we're every, each week uh, we're banking in a good amount of work uh, we're getting a little bit closer to the top of the mountain each time, getting a, um, a little bit closer towards our goal. And uh, that athlete check-in that I sent you guys that's in the team builder um, is a really good process to work on what areas are you happy with the week that's just passed, but also what are some areas that you feel you could do better. Uh, and that's a good process to think about sometimes and more often than not, we can focus on things we're not doing well. Uh, but as we know, it's our strengths and the things that we're really good at that will allow us to play our highest level of footy. Um, so we want to make sure that we're focusing on what we're doing well in a given week. For our Melbourneian Victorians, uh, or more so Melbourneians, because the gyms have been open in Victoria for a little bit longer now, but um, gyms are pretty much open all around the country over the last couple of weeks with Melbourne being the last to, to open up. Uh, so really important. And I'll talk about training load in the next slide, but training load is really specific to the task that you're doing. So. For some of you, you'll be quite conditioned with your running at the moment. You might have kept up your kicking loads. So therefore your uh, ability to recover from your running sessions and push hard running sessions, your body will be able to cope with those really well. And same with your skills. But the gym, if you haven't been laid a foot in the door in the gym for a number of weeks, some of you maybe two months and done heavy barbell lifts or um, any band work, uh, this is going to be a real shock to the body. So we want to make sure we ease into your barbell movements and not worry so much with the weight that's on the bar. So understanding your load management, we're getting into the point now where we've, we've done a couple of weeks on the program. We've had a good rest. Now we've done a couple of weeks of reconditioning your bodies uh, and we're introducing some heavier lifting in the gym, some more power-based lifting in the gym. So the demands in the gym's getting a little bit bigger. This is actually a prime time for you to really get some good strength and power now until uh, end of Christmas time and then the new year it's when your footy loads really pick up and we'll drop the gym loads a fair bit because we're getting ready for practice matches in March. So now's the time, it's the prime time for you to get quality gym loads out and we want to start building and that's why your technique is so important, we want to start building those fundamentals uh, and really driving your effort level in the gym so you're getting good strength gains, good power gains uh, in the gym but with that you got to have, it's a juggling act. So like this visual here, the, the seesaw, as the training load increases, our ability to our hand ability to handle that load will start to drop off, drop down because our body is recovering. It's in a highly fatigued state from the, from the work. 